Hi, I'm Terrence Dick, and this is Views. This is the first of a three-part series on history. It's called The History of History. This exhibition comes at a time of celebration of like 150 years of Canada, but it also happens at a moment of crisis, or it just seems to be a moment where different accounts of the past informing who we are in the present are at odds with each other. So this is a weird exhibition because it blends historical documentation, didactic panels, infographics, and artworks as artworks. So you have an example of this here with a photo collage by Ian Wallace, the Vancouver-based photographer. It's an image of a protest against clear-cutting of old-growth forest, a protest that took place in 1993. And you see here an instance of this uh, battleground where the territory is con contested. And it's often tied to an appeal to history, an appeal to history greater than us, old growth forest that extends beyond individual lives, even beyond human history, back into a past. Okay, so here you have another example of what kind of art artwork in this exhibition. Also has a kind of ambiguity, but it's tied with a kind of maybe cynicism, wrapped up less in the you know, politics of land and uh, the value of nature and more in consumer culture and the way in which we're complicit in destroying the planet in our own daily lives, in, a, the, in the kind of like the mundane activities that we uh, engage in on a daily basis. What Copeland captures here is the paralyzing effect of our relationship to this environmental history, this environmental crisis that we've you know, inherited and that we're kind of riding the tide forward in. And, and his, his posters or sayings here seem to be just like, oh, we're on, this, we're on this crashing wave and let's just ride it to the end. Like it's cynical, but true, but cynical. Uh, I think it helps come out here and get perspective on just what we're dealing with when we look at those charts and when we look at those maps and when we look at those uh, documents of uh, conflict and exploitation. Part of our history uh, of the land is the history of uh, art that reminds us that there's something we're saving. And you know, fine if that's naive, but it's just like, <laughs> I'd rather be naive and hope for a future than cynical and just buy the t-shirt. <laughs>